I have coded the content of the media, translated it into data, and uh, this is based on a uh, earlier article that I wrote with a co-author, Jeff Milo of the uh, University of Missouri. This article was published in a, a peer-reviewed journal, so this is a scientific approach using data and statistical analysis to say exactly, quantitatively, what, what is the, the slant of the media and what is its bias. Well, uh, what was your, uh, briefly, your, your methodology? How could you how could you take a media, take a media organization, and determine uh, the extent of its media bias? Well, the first thing I should say, it starts off with the notion of a political quotient. This is a, a method I've devised to, to measure political views in a precise and quantitative way. On this scale, uh, Nancy Pelosi is about 100. Uh, Michelle Bachman's about at zero. Uh, it turns out I have every member of Congress on the scale. Oh, really? uh, Senator Fred Thompson is at 11.2. John Kasich's ah. at 14, by the way. Hey, and, uh, perfectly I always knew he was a liberal. <laughs> hey, I want to read. I want to read. I demand a zero. Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> All right. Go, go uh, take, it's on. I tell you, if anyone wants to take my my test, it's on my website, timgrossclose.com. I encourage you. So you know, <laughs> maybe you you become more conservative. Uh, by the way, on. On this scale, uh, I've estimated that the average American voter is a 50. So from this, I next try to estimate the slant quotient of different media outlets. And, and here's an example of what I've done. The New York Times gets a slant quotient of a 74 by my method. Uh, and now it happens that Joe Lieberman has a political quotient of a 74 also. So by my method, that means that the New York Times sounds about as liberal as the average Joe Lieberman speech. And so to give you more details about that, with this one method, I have three methods, but one looked at think tank citations. So I looked at which think tanks the New York Times cited, you know, left you looked at all these, interest. You looked at all that. I wish we had a lot more time, but you looked at all these methods, looked at the think, think tanks that uh, they use, that you looked at the key words that they use, and you made this that determination and yes. put, the, put the score on. What, what, what is the effect of, of this? I, 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 I certainly would agree with your conclusions, but do they have an effect on the American people? Great, great question. Thank you for asking. And this is how my book differs from a lot of other media bias books. I measure the effect, and I look at different academic studies that have done something like an experiment to test the effect of the media. In a nutshell, the effect is that America currently thinks and votes about like a purple state, Iowa and Nevada. But if you could magically eliminate media bias, according to my estimates, America would think and vote about like a solid red state, something like Texas, something like Tennessee, something like Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, uh, you're, you're, um, you're scientifically proving uh, what uh, a lot of us uh, have, have been frustrated. We know it, but we can't prove it.